Hello guys, this is Ray, the developer for Remnants of the Precursors. This is a uh, Java-based uh, re remake of the original Mass Effect Orion game, and I'm here to quickly demonstrate to you some performance changes I've been working on in the last couple of days. And um, what you'll see here is me creating a galaxy, a playable galaxy with up to 50,000 stars. So let me just, um, let me turn the memory usage on here. So you can see the memory usage at the bottom. I put that down there just for diagnostics for me. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to the setup here. I've already got it configured to go to the ludicrous settings. I've re-changed ludicrous to now have up to 50,000 stars in its maximum configuration. So let's hit OK. And I'm going to time it. So have you ever like been playing these AAA 4X games? and wondering why they take up so much memory, why they're so slow, um, you know, why they only will allow you to have like systems with like 800 or 1,000 stars. I kind of wonder that too. I mean, I'm writing this game in Java, which is supposed to be slow, it's supposed to be a memory hog, you're not supposed to write video games in Java, but here I am doing it, and you're about to see me create, here it is, I don't even know how long that took, about 30 seconds. A galaxy, a playable galaxy with 50,000 stars in it. Okay, so for example, this is the Darlux homeworld, and as I zoom out, you will see this. I mean, this, oh good, it's on the end, so we're going to get to see how big across this galaxy is. Here we go, let's just kind of slide this thing over here, look at that. I'm just going to do some more. There's more. So he was near the edge of the galaxy. So let's just go all the way over here to the other side. And coming over here. These stars are 1,642 light years away. This is a galaxy I've created that's 1,600 light years across with 50,000 stars. There's 20 empires in it. Obviously, you would never play a game with 50,000 stars. And that's not the intent. The intent is not for someone to go, oh, I'm going to, you know, spend two years playing this game or however long it would take. The, the reason I do this is I like to stress the memory of the game, of the computer, because if I can figure out a way to make it play with 50,000 stars on my 16 gig PC, then when someone's playing on their one, giga, one gigabyte um, Raspberry Pi, they can play with a thousand stars, which is a really big map for most games. So I'm trying to make this game really functional on low memory systems. And one way I do that is I, you know, test it as much as I can on really large systems on my PC. Um, just real quick, here's the new colony screen that's been uh, that's been done. Um, the new fleet UI, which is in work, where you can uh, do mass changes of uh, ship construction or rally points or transports or deploying fleets. This will be demonstrated um, in the video when I have the developer build. But I just kind of wanted to show you something that I thought was really cool. Um, the upper limit of this game now has been raised from 10,000 star maps to about 50,000. I'll probably keep going at least until I get to 100,000 stars. And that's just kind of to make a point, right? That it can be done. So anyway, this is it. This is what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to hope you have fun playing the game when it comes out for the developer build. Bye.